It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my continued series of Spain in the Rights of Man DLC. So, we are preparing to declare war now on Portugal. It's going to be a tricky war because we are going to get sucked into a war with Great Britain and also the Papal States. Luckily, the Papal State is at a war right now, so that'll distract them for a little bit of time, which is good news. We need to make sure we've got a good general. So this guy's got two four siege and two maneuver. Sorry, four shock and two maneuver. So we just we would like to be able to just pin down their armies pretty damn quick. So let's let's split them off and these guys are gonna grab territory. We could grab Portugal pretty damn quick, so we'll do that immediately. We are upgrading our transport fleet right now, so we're probably gonna be a few months out of service. And then we're gonna use this fleet to try and grab any land in the Papal State. Okay, we can take convert more land as well, so we're going to do that. Uh, we can greater admin tech, so let's do that. Okay, I have realized as well that I am currently focused on military, so I think I want to take that off. I could move that over to admin, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and our heir has died. Okay. He's very good with uh, military. He's decent with Diplo, but he's, he's administratively stupid. Hmm. Okay. You allied with anyone? I'm really tempted to annex Morocco. Maybe we should do that now. Because if we annex Morocco, no one's going to be pissed at us, are they? Because there's nobody here. Because it's, it's location sensitive, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Bohemia? Oh. And a, ki and a king has just died. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. And we've got this greedy queen on our throne. Uh, oh, this is the worst time. Can we declare war? That's a good question because we, we're, we're in a regency council, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Austria wants to continue. Yes. Savoy, will you continue our special relationship? Hope so. Yes. Done. Stop. Go. Savoy. Yes. I'm really surprised that Savoy's not actually actually called me to join their war. Who are they at war with? Oop. Oops. Yeah, they're at war with uh, Siena and the Papal States. Okay. Uh, we've got all the claims we need. Sicily, can we get the last claim yet? No, we need 30 spy points for that. Okay. They demand land. The nobility want more land. They need 15% of the land. Okay. Nobility. What crappy land can we give them? That's all really good land, isn't it? So I've figured out that it's not based on land in toll. It's based upon how much development it's got, isn't it? So we could give them the, the Balearic Islands. Yeah, we're all good now. We're happy. When they're happy, we're happy. Everyone's happy. Okay. Um... Whereabouts is this? Why are they upset? Oh, it's because they're being converted. Okay. I want to make sure I keep the rebellions down. I'll. Uh, you know what we'll probably do is when we see a red rebellion icon, like they're just about to rebel, then we'll suppress them. But until then, there's no point. Ooh, 500 gold. That's a lot of gold. But it doesn't matter. I'm pretty filthy rich anyway. It's all good. All right. This army is probably going to be enough. How big is the Papal State Army? Let's have a look. Papal State Army. P, 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 P. Oh. Is it not under P for Papal State? What's the name of the... The Papal State. It's T then. Okay. The Papal State. It has 16,000 troops and I have 34. Okay. We don't have to worry about that. Convert there. Good, good, good. Uh, anywhere else that is a concern? Not really. Yeah, so... We, oh, oh, that's nice. Extra stability. Out of the blue. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, agent has been discovered in Sicily. Damn, that's a shame because we were really close to building a network there, weren't we? Let's just start over. Um, hire a Italian engineer. Gain some extra military power. Damn! 
spend all my money if I could. All my money if I could on uh, extra monic points, definitely. Uh, go for this area. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Oh, uh, administrator guy has died. Uh, who can we replace him with? This is a Master of the Mint. Yep. Can we fabricate some claims? 20. We've, we're getting close. Yeah, it's going to be another, another about 10 months, maybe. Corsica is now part of our land. Good. Can we convert them? Yes. Damn, there's a lot of chaos going on here. Savoy have turned the tides. They're invading Siena. I do not regret allying Savoy. They are so strong. They're not really happy with us anymore, though. Have a claim. Refuse military access. Improve relations. I think we probably should boost relations with them. Conversion. France has joined the Protestant League against the common foes of the Empire. They've joined the Protestants? Okay, I'll join the Protestants then. Well, this is going to be one-sided, isn't it? Why have they joined the Protestants? They're Catholic. I've joined the right side, right? These are the Protestants. So why is France... Why is France and... The only strong sides on the Catholic side are Savoy, Great Britain, and Hungary. Ooh, Muscovy is pretty strong. Muscovy?! Isn't even Catholic. Why are you even involved in this? Okay, I guess you can choose a side regardless, and I suppose you can just do it for a... Ooh, alliance breaking with Austria. Oh god, they're allied with so many people. That's the reason why they can't maintain it. Can we send some money at them? We could burn ourselves out if we're not careful trying to throw money at them, aren't we? To try and maintain an alliance. Might not be a good idea. I know why this alliance is breaking. It's breaking because we they've got too many friends as it is. And it's probably because... Yeah, the heretic religion isn't helping either. We are kin. Really? <sighs> okay, is there a, a tab for... Tab to show dynasties. Yes, there is. Okay, it said that we're. I'm a bit confused. What? It said we're kin. Are we related? No, they're Hasburgs. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, never mind. Okay, our navy is strong now. Uh, we probably should move them here. Um, yeah, we were going to declare war on Morocco because we just we might as well just grab some more land while we're at blockade ports. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to uh, fabricate claims on this area. Have they got any important terrain? No, we've got all their important land. I guess seaports are more important than anything, aren't they? So we'll grab that one. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to declare war. No. Nope. Yep. Mountains. Oh! Austria broke alliance with us. I know they're going to rival us now. I know they are. You dare. Now this upsets the balance of power for us. Yeah, this really upsets the balance of power. Ah, uh, damn, that's our strong ally that we've lost now. Okay, Hungary is okay with us. We need to make a new friend, that's what we need to do. So, Brandenburg's pretty strong, but the problem is it's just so far away. Poland is supporting the independence of Sweden. <laughs> okay. Have they even got an army? They do, but it's really small.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's just insanely small. We could probably just walk all over them now. Is there a, uh, a guy that we can apply that's got some good siege? Yeah, he's the man. Gotcha. Okay, game administration and extra discipline or extra prestige. Oh, definitely admin. Definitely, we need it too. Is that general? Just, no, he's not died. It was a different general. Alliance breaking with Savoy? Are you kidding me? Are we losing our relationships? Oh, no. I think they're upset because I've changed religion, isn't it? That's what's broke the alliances. Ah, oh, man. That was our buffer against France. France doesn't have many allies right now. It's just Burgundy and France. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Can we just march in and stomp them? Nope. We have to go all the way around. Okay, we'll not do that. We'll just wait for these guys to finish their siege. France has declared war on Great Britain. Ooh. And Savoy has broke their alliance. Shit. Okay. Alright, I'm taking that. Just go, guys. Let's do it. Right. I think that was the only fort they've got. That's the only one they could probably afford. Alright, can we vassalize them? That's Morocco's spy network. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Okay. Yeah, we can. Oh, we make them a protector. Nah, we'll do that anyway. Who cares? I don't really fully understand how protectorates work in this game, but we'll find out now. We're learning as we go. I know protectorates work like vassals, but they're only defensive, I believe. Go here. Danzig wants an alliance. Ah, right, okay. In a trade network. A league, should I say. Okay, it's um, it's probably Brandenburg I want to make alliances with, or Bohemia. It's a shame that one of them didn't have the other, you know, like... Guaranteeing... Ansbach. Ansbach. Okay. Um, hey, we're actually ahead on admin now. Could finally go for these techs. Cool. What we were hoping to do is go all the way across culture, and therefore then we'll start convert culture. So if we go for... Influence and we also go for religious. We can also get a reduction of culture conversion by another 20%. That looks pretty good. That one's right at the bottom. Okay. Increase relations. Can what can we do with this protectorate? Can we? Um can seize land off them. Enable divert trade. That one's a good one because it reduces, it gives them literally all of the trade power to us, which is pretty much the only reason to own this area to be fair. Grant them a province and seize land off them. This will anger them. <laughs> yeah, we don't really want to do that. Do we want to anger them? I guess we could take that land off that territory. Let's bring the relations up first and then we'll do that. Um, we could go for... No, we're not going to bother. How far are behind are we? Not that much. We could burst mercantilism again, couldn't we? I don't really know where the cutoff point for mercantilism, you know, at what point do you, do you stop boosting it? Okay. All right. Okay. We could declare we're on Portugal now. We've got our fleet in position. Where's our fleet? It's here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I feel like what I want to do is put them 
Oop. Border friction. Relations with Portugal. Uh, well, I got the, the relations are going to get a lot worse in a moment, that's for sure. We're going to go here. And then patrol. And just go back and forth. You know, those relations are going to get a lot worse in a moment. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're still boosting relations with Austria. Just give it up, Dave. Give it up. Oh, that's a shame, man. They were such a strong ally as well. Damn. Ooh, he's decent. Okay, so we split the armies. Uh, we can invade Portugal. Uh, who will put this at war with? It put this at war with Papal States. And it put this at war with France. Oh, face palm. Sicily, France. Hmm. They're grabbing land, aren't they? That's a shame. This puts us in a bit of a sticky situation because we're locked now between two pretty strong foes, aren't we? I guess at this point in time, we probably should use this opportunity to break out of France, shouldn't we? What do you think? Is it time to take on the big blue blob? Is it time to take on the big blue blob? Hmm. Hmm. This could be a good time because they are distracted a little bit with uh, with the war that they're currently in. But I like to think they've just won it anyway. They've pretty much completely conclusively won it. I'd imagine they'd probably bring troops over here as well. What's their relations like with France? They're okay. They like each other. Just to make sure. I've never used this screen before, so I'm not actually hundred percent sure. Yep, yeah, they like each other, so they'll give they'll give them access. Allied with Hungary and France, so they'll give them access. So we'll be fighting France in Italy. So it's not doable. It's not doable. Ah, oh, that's a shame. France is cock blocking me so hard right now. Ah, uh, damn. Excuse my squeaky chair. So whenever we'll declare war on a Catholic nation, that's the problem I'm going to have now. Hmm. Hmm. Cyprus is a vassal of the Mamluks. Independent support by Ethiopia and Bedri Badri. Hmm. So they're giving us all our trade power. Let's have a look at the difference it makes. 92% transferring. We're pretty much getting all of this as well. The only thing, the only people that hold us back is bloody Portugal. Uh, Alright. I guess the war's off for now. Oh damn, we're losing some money again. Which one of these is a shipyard? I don't think I have any shipyards, do I? No, I don't. I probably should buy one here, shouldn't I? Alright, well, our income should be super freaking high now, because we've... Uh... Oh, Sicily's made a claim on us. Thanks for that, Sicily. So, I guess we have to think about expanding, I suppose, because right now we can't stagnate and do nothing, can we? Hmm... Savoy relations maxed. That's pointless. Supporting the independence of Genoa. Okay. I'm deciphering in my head right now, like, whether we should take on France. That is the battle that I'm having in my head. France's army is 35... 55,000 men. The problem we're going to find is not that we can beat France. I think we're strong enough to beat France. We are... 
at the moment. Oh no, we're actually number two now. Ottomans have overtook us. But at the moment, we are pretty much one of the strongest countries in Europe. The problem is, is that France can play divide and conquer because they can they can fight us in Italy. Yeah, they can fight us in Italy and take over our Italy provinces and have an advantage over us. Shit. Not ideal. Hmm. I guess we could kind of bog them down, couldn't we? I suppose by making an extra fort maybe here and slowing them down. We do have the maneuverability bonus as well, if you think about it, because we can... I feel like we need to take on France by ourselves, one-on-one. -on -one. That's probably the smartest choice, other than going for Portugal. That's probably the smartest option. We've got loads of relations we could have as well. Maybe we should... The problem right now is that the two biggest Protestant... Well, the second is... Well, we are the biggest, biggest Protestant nation, but... The secondary is are Bohemia and Brandenburg, and they're foes, I bet. Yeah. Maybe we should just make royal marriages. The problem is, if we make royal marriages, they're going to ask for alliance. I know they are. Watch them, they're going to ask for alliance now. Here we go. Urbanization. Oh, wow. Damn, I'm definitely going to go for that. Nice. Extra boost in tax, boys. Hmm. Still five years old. Our queen consort has uh, still not that great. She's okay, I suppose. One two two is not d a disaster. And diplomats died. Fuck. He didn't last very long, did he? You can intervene in wars with great powers. Ooh. Ooh. Can we hire someone? I think the only person we can hire is the minister from the burgers, isn't it? Inquisitor is administration. And he's a, he's a diplo- Oh, okay, now we can get both of these. 3rd of May, 95. God, he didn't last very long, did he? He died really quickly. Um, I guess we have to spend the money, I suppose. Open your wallet, Dave. Nah, we'll go for the cheaper guy. I don't want to spend more than I need to. Even though we are filthy rich. Intervene in wars. French conquest of armor. You can intervene in a war. There are at least one great power on each side. And the side we would join for fewer great powers. So is Burgundy a great power? Yes, they are. Wow. That's actually kind of interesting, isn't it? So now we can potentially... Oh my god, is this smart though? Because this isn't, doesn't really help us out, does it? No, this is stupid. What do we even gain for this either? Do we gain something special for it? Ah, oh, no, we're not going to do that. Bohemia wants an alliance, do they? Nope. Second power, great power, plus 22. I kind of want the war to end so we can declare war on Sicily. The enemy ally France will not be considered a co-belligerent in this war and they will, be, will not be able to call their allies but will be twice as more expensive to take their provinces. Okay. Rebels. French noble rebels. In this province. Here? Really? Depletion of the European beaver, my favourite event. 
That beaver. Ah, oh, this is such a shame. This is this is not ideally how what I've liked to have happened. Um, Memming. Where? Oh, it's a free city. Okay, I'll pass, dude. Thanks. Memming Gen. Join alliance. Join trade network. Okay. Trade tobacco. Nice. Ah. <sighs> We're in like a really good situation, but the problem is if we push our luck a little bit too hard, we can put ourselves we can push ourselves over the edge. The scientific method. All right, we definitely need to go for trade ideas, no doubt about it. Actually, could we have gone for uh, influence? Oh yeah, we could have gone for influence as well. It gives us extra income, which is bad. That one's pretty bad too. Axation cost minus 25%. It's actually pretty decent. That's a pretty good one. Aggressive impact. That's very, very good. Hmm, maybe we should have gone for influence then. Hmm. Diplomatic reputation plus two. And relations. That's pretty good too. That one's okay, I suppose. Uh, vassal limit contribution plus 100%. Uh, I guess that's okay. And justified demands minus 50%. When you funnel out, you gain the ability to just unjustified demands minus 50%. I guess maybe influence is the way forward, you know, though. I was thinking of trade, but uh, we don't really, do we don't need the trade, do we? We're rich. Yeah, influence is the way forward. Yeah, we need to go with influence. All right, guys, this one's a bit of a shorter episode. Uh, but my goodness, this is a tricky one for me because I'm wedged between great powers. This is the first time that I felt like it's difficult for me to make a decision on where I go. Because whatever I do, I'm going to put myself into a quite a major war with France. The war with France has been on the horizon for a while, but I'll be honest with you. The fact that we've lost Savoy and Austria is a huge pain in the ass. It's bizarre that our relations are so good still, but the fact that we've changed religion has really, really upset them. It looks like, it looks like Austria and Hungary have fallen out as well. Austria at one stage had so many alliances. Hmm, it's such a shame because if I had Savoy, they would be the perfect buffer for my Italian territories. But they, what's going to happen is when I declare war on France, is they're going to charge troops and divide my troops that are in Italy and fight them. Um, we can fight here and play a war of attrition in northern Spain. Ah, it's a war that I'd prefer not to have because it'll be so freaking costly. I think it might just be better to take out Sicily. Anyway, guys, decide on the next episode, and then we'll go from there. Guys, remember to like and subscribe and drop a comment what I should do on the next episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.